door set up that far away from the plate. It's always that far off. Yeah. Alright. And just think of the pitcher and imagine him throwing a fastball belt high right there somewhere in that location, okay? Everything nice and slow. Uh-uh. That's not too swing. What did your shoulder do? Just mm -hmm. pulled out. So you want to get long. Just go nice and slow. Try it again. It makes them think, too. Mm -hmm. They have to think on how their body works. It's better. You finish. Now you got to finish. Now why is your heel up? Heel. Now mm -hmm. your shoulder's up. Okay. <laughs> now the difference, there's, there's one guy in the pros I think of his heel comes up, his toe comes up all the time. <clears throat> Napoli. But why is no one changed Napoli? His shoulders go up a lot, too, but why is no one changed him? Because he'll hit the ball 500 feet in the air, a pop-up for me and you, that just goes out of park. Okay, so that's why no one changed him. He, he has an uppercut, but he's just so freaking strong, they let him do it. Now, me and you, we can't do that because that's just a top spin weak fly ball to the outfielder. Try it again, level the shoulders. Now finish. Now get the heel up. If my legs look like this, in my swing, am I driving off my hips? Does this back side look like it's working? Or is it looking like it's spinning on the top? If my shoulders are spinning, watch my bottom half. Did I drive? <laughs> no, it looked weak, huh? Now watch my lower half, even though I'm wearing jeans. Does that look like it was working? Pushing off to get some weight transfer into the ball? Okay. Weight transfer is when we have our weight back right here, stride alone, knobs inside. We actually drive off with our backside. And that helps our hand. That's our power, this backside, through the ball. And our energy in slow motion, we're actually a little bit over our front side at when we're swinging because we're pushing so hard. But when we hit that ball, the energy of that ball then straightens us up to perfect. Okay? That's what it looks like in slow motion. Don't get too carried away trying to go over the front side. Let's work on the backside driving hard. Get you some more power. All right, show me how to hit the middle. <coughs> All right, let's pretend the pitch is a little lower. I want you to back knee drive. All right, pitch is down here, and how do you get that? How do you get to a low pitch? There's an answer I'm looking for. Verbal answer. Use, use the word drive. Drive the backside low to the plane. Okay, because when you get to college up, they're gonna they're gonna quiz you. When I was in Santa Ana, they just quizzed me. He wouldn't yell at me ever, never yelled, cursed, or nothing. He just said, come here, sit down. He always had a spot next to us. Uh, what we think on that hit? You had to run to second base, why'd you pull the ball? Oh, well, you know, he hung that pitch, so you know, I thought I had a good swing at it. Oh, you thought I had a good swing at it? We well, just ready to roll over 6-3. I would just go sit down for a while. See how he quizzed me? Now, if I would have said, oh, you know, I was looking to the right side, but it's a changeup, and I thought it was a fastball, and I screwed up, he'd be like, oh, that was a good answer then. I did the same exact thing, though. I still got out. Makes sense? But you see how I worded the answers? If you gave a crap answer, you know what he said? He said, you're out of control. So the game's going too fast right now. You're thinking too much. Just go sit down. But if you still give the right answer, you know you screwed up, say, oh, okay, well, screw-ups happen. Does that make sense? So when you start coming to me too, I'm gonna give you the right answers to how you can have a, 